<laughs> and welcome back guys, Rob the Undead Game here and welcome back to Let's Play Fable Part 20. Yes, we've reached the big 2-0 now, finally, and we're here in Headman's Hill. Uh, sign of quite a grim sight, if I must be honest. Where clearly beheadings and executions took place. But we're on our way uh, to Lynchfield Graveyard, the graveyard of the Old Kingdom. Uh, if you missed the last episode, uh, we were looking for another archaeologist who, in fact, seemed to have had information regarding um, our mother and our powers and a sword and some such and things. And we were on our way to rescue him, we did, and it was a tough fight in which actually took me about six times to complete that quest. So I highly recommend going and checking that out. But now we're on our way to Lynchfield Graveyard. The Graveyard Path. Okay, talk to the Gravekeeper. Alright, we'll do then. Hello, Gravekeeper, where are you? Are you about, sir? Creepy. Mm -hmm. What will we find? Or not find? Are there any places to dig? No, clearly not. What is going on hither? Ah, oh, well there's the thingy. Uh, we'll do that. Cool. Port World Cullis Gate. Awesome. Hello. Oh, this is stupid. The gates are locked. I wouldn't bother if I were you. The gravekeeper won't open them. He just sits in his hut talking to that weird friend of his. Ugh, I've had enough. I'm off. Fair enough. Let's uh, see we can talk to the gravekeeper. But who? Who is? Who is? Who is the? But up. Okay, right. Let's, uh, let's try and open these gates. The gates are locked. You don't have a key. Okay, well I presume then that we go over hither to talk to the gravekeeper. If he's over here. You have a whole set? That must be worth a bleeding fortune. Yeah, I smashed open the crypt and it was all just lying there. You better hide it to make sure <laughs> no one else steals Stealthily it. listening in. Don't worry. I've got it stashed all over the world. <coughs> No one's going to find it. Not even them undead what's wandering around. Only thing I didn't manage to hide before they turned up was the helmet. Mm. It'll be alright here for now, and I'm keeping them gates locked till I can sell the lot. Shh! What was that? Someone's out there. I better go. Um, yes. <laughs> Get out of my house, you bloody peasant. All right, I'm leaving. I just needed somewhere to sleep. Oh, excellent cover story, yes. Totally believable. Okay, well, here's a chest. Maybe the key's in here. If it is, I will laugh. Nope, but there's a spade. A spade of which we already have. We could do some fishing there. What's in here? What is this? Oh, it is a water, water thing. Hello, gravekeeper. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to steal that. I do apologise. Oh, hello. Uh, guild business, is it, eh? Mm. It is indeed, yes. You want to go through them old kingdom gates? I tell you, they ain't been opened for generations. They say that only Nostro the gatekeeper could open them. Except you've got Nostro a key. died a couple of hundred years ago, and now the secret's buried with him in his crypt. You lie. I suppose you'll be wanting access to the graveyard. Hmm. Well, let's go. Okay then. Let's go indeed, sir. That was easy. Nostro's crypt is on the far side of the graveyard. Over the river and up the hill. Okie doke. Oh, you're coming with me, are you? Okay, well, uh, what I might do is... Because I've picked up an augmentation. Flame augment. Oh, I've got a silver one there as well. It's good against uh, Balverines and Undead. Ah. Okay. Oh, I don't know now. Um, 
Special damage to creatures harmed by silver such as bow. Uh, let's put it on there anyway. Let's put the silver one on there. That's cool. Okay, awesome. Seeing as we're probably going to be facing a lot of undead. Hello, you... Oh, undead don't put the sword away. Again. I told you. <gasps> ha! That did a load of damage. Hey, friend. Or not. As the case may be. Ow, damn. Loads of you. Aha! You thought you could take me on, undead, but you were, you were wrong. Oh, no, don't attack the Gravekeeper. Oh, it depends on how good he is. It reads, John and Sarah Miller, inseparable before the accident, more so over. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, Kay Mauler, atheist, all dressed up and nowhere to go. <laughs> Rover was a true friend and pet, but ran a thunderstorm when wet. Ran, ran in a thunderstorm when wet. Oh dear. For Uncle Carl Kinby, you owe us. <laughs> atheist, oh yeah, we rest that, read that one. Anonymous, we'll never forget you. <laughs> you scratch beneath the coffin lid, thus we avenge your crimes upon us. You scratch... No, Here lies Brom, lost his family and his wi uh, life to bandits. Ah, oh, poor Brom. Oh, no, attack the undead, not the wall. Okay. What? Oh, God, guys, stop spawning everywhere. It's like, you know... You got loads of places to come from or something. Uh, no. Curse you. Curse you all. Ow. Okay. Okay. Okay, I've had quite enough of you all now. You can all disappear, please. Boom. Okay. On we go. Boom. Bo no. Boom. There we go. Boom. Uh, no. Missed entirely. Oh dear. Huh, no. Stay back, you. There's probably lots of places to dig, to be honest, isn't there? Here we go. What have we got here? Let's dig a couple of these places. Otherwise, it's literally going to take all episode. <laughs> Aha, what have we found? After a long cutscene. Silver key, yay! Cool. Okay, yeah, I might might add actually that um, uh, Mary Sutter, a young bride and a good mother, taken too soon. Oh Jesus! You popped out of your graves quick. Bloody hell, guys! Yeah, so I, I'm making these episodes of uh, Fable a little bit shorter because uh, they kind of got a little bit too long. I'm trying to make them a bit more like uh, the old. Bioshock episodes were, where they were only like about 10 minutes or so long, because um, it's just more accessible for people to watch, really, and you know, it doesn't take up too much time, you know, so that's why these are going to be significantly shorter than they were, at least, so like at least a minimum sort of between 10 to 15 minutes so long, Near, nearer the 10 minute mark, hopefully. Uh, depending on the episode and, and what happens, I suppose. Um, boom! Ha hey, hey! Big bastard! This Get up, quick! Really? Ha. Ha ha! Oh. <laughs> okay, on we go! Oh! Pouch of some description. Where are you? Oh, there was a digging spot place. Where's the diggy spot? Where's the diggy spot? Where are you, diggy spot? There we go, diggy spot. Yeah! Yeah! More zombies. More zombies in this episode. Brilliant. Do love a good old Albion zombie apocalypse. Let's read this one. What are you looking at? <laughs> Sick Gorgimus. Gimus. Sick Gorgimus. Allos subjectus nunc. Well, that's either Latin or bullshit. Which really is much the same, is it not? I, I don't. Oh, damn. Sorry, dude. I. Oh, I killed him. Oh, shit. I killed. I am so sorry, sir. <laughs> that was. My bad entirely. I I 
Can I resurrect you with... Maybe, maybe I can... No, I don't think I can heal him. Ow. I did learn, though, I can heal NPCs in this game, which is pretty cool. So those guards that were, like, helping me in uh, the last episode, not, not that I had much of a chance to heal them in battle, um, but... Yeah, they, um, here lies Lady Phylorn, uh, dead by her own hand. But yeah, no, you can, like, um, you can, if you target them, you can heal them, which is pretty damn cool. What's in here? Let's open this up. Nostro armor. Awesome. Oh, that's no doubt what the helmet is that the, uh, that guy's got in his, in his, in the, uh, the place. The place, his house. <laughs> the place, his house. Where he lives. Nah! Is there any, can I open this up? Here lies the Dark Duke Sibilus. Uh, Sibilus? His reign of torture is no more! No, we don't, no, don't hit him with your fists. Darn it. Oh, what do you want? You bastard. There we go, right, okay. Onwards! Actually, let's see if we can equip that uh, weapon, the armor. No, clothing. It's in clothing. God damn it. <laughs> suits. No, we don't have suits yet. Torso? Oh, damn it. I wanted to wear that nice shiny armor. It's nice shiny antique armor. Fireball to you, sir. Ha-ha! You're a big grizzly bastard, aren't you? Oh. 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 Boom. Ow. Excellent. Oh, what's behind here? A chest and a big dude who's dead. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's open up this chest. What will we find? Is it more armor, perhaps? A fishing rod. Joyous! Because we don't have three of those already. <laughs> well, excellent. Okay. So, is this it? I presume this is it. Here lies Nostro, Keeper of the Gate. Excellent. Well, we are here, guys. But what will we find inside? I suppose you'll have to find out in the next awesome episode of Let's Play Fables. And sadly, we've run out of time. But uh, will we? what will we find in there? I don't know. More of Nostro's armor or something, something beneficial to us? In, our, in the grand scheme of things, I suppose you'll have to find out in the next awesome episode of There's Undead. That's not the game we're playing. In the next awesome episode of Let's Play Fables. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Rob the Undead Gamer and I will catch you next time. Bye bye <laughs>